this video, I'm going to show you if it is possible to record a song or make a song cover using this mini voice changer or mini uh, sound card, or other people would call this as a voice changer for phones. And other people would call this also as Le Rimier sound card, however way you want to pronounce it. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the things that we'll be needing in this uh, setup. So this iPad here I will use as my source of uh, the background music or instrument or accompaniment. And this device here I will use so uh, for uh, recording. So this is the uh, sound card or mini sound card or mini voice uh, changer. And some people would call this uh, as a Lorimier uh, sound card. And uh, we'll be using a condenser microphone and the cord that comes with this is this one XLR to 3.5 mm and I will uh, use this lightning audio adapter because I will use this phone again that does not have uh, an audio jack on it so that's why I always need this one and uh, also I will be using one of these so this is 3.5 mm TRS the one that has two lines and uh, I will need uh, this one also so this is a 3.5 mm TRRS this time the one that has three lines on it and this normally comes if you uh, buy uh, other sound cards or even this one it comes uh, if you buy this type of sound card it comes with one of these and one of this one so one 3.5 mm TRS and one 3.5 mm TRRS so same on both ends this one is just an audio splitter so 3.5 mm TRS to uh, dual a 3.5 mm female uh, adapter. And this one here, this is just uh, the uh, 3.5 mm TRRS, so the one that has three lines this time. And the other end is for the microphone and for the headphone. And uh, this one here, I'm just going to show you, I have two kinds of uh, uh, earphone here. So one has uh, two lines, so something like that, and then the other one has three lines. So I would like to emphasize that I will be using this one here, the one that has two lines. I will not be using this one that has three lines because the output is, is different. You could hardly hear if you use this one. So if possible, use uh, this one here, the one that has uh, two lines. So this means this uh, earphone doesn't have a built-in microphone on it. Okay, so again, we will not be using this, we'll only be using this one here. Okay, and let's now get started with the connections. Okay, first I'm going to connect uh, this uh, uh, condenser microphone to this uh, shock mount on here. Okay, so I'm gonna... Okay. Okay, so uh, from here, okay, let me show you the back side of this one. So here it says headset uh, jack. So for the one that says headset jack, we will connect the Y splitter, the one that has headphone and microphone. So that's the splitter there, the mic and headphone splitter from this one, 3.5 mm TRRS. So let's connect this one here. And then, from here, the microphone here, we will connect our condenser microphone. So this microphone, we will connect this one here to the one for the microphone. Okay, and now for the other end, we will not be connecting this one. Instead, we will connect this other splitter. So this time, the one that has two lines. So let's connect it there. And then one end we will connect to this earphone. So let's connect it that way. And then the other one, because they are the same, we will connect to this one here. So we'll use this other one. This one is, again, this is TRS on both ends. The one that has two lines, one end goes there. And then the other end we will connect to this iPad, which is the source of our background music. So simply locate the headphone jack or port of that uh, uh, source of your background music or instrument. Okay, we're almost set. Now, for the other end here, so here, the one that is for, it says here, connect to phone, 
This time we will need this one. So the one that has three lines on both ends, TRRS. So let's connect one end there. And then the other end we will connect to this phone. Again, this phone is the one we will be using to do our recording. Uh, if you happen to use an Android phone, you don't need this lightning audio adapter. So this is just for iPhone that does not have an audio jack on it. Okay, so let's connect it over here. And there you go, we're all set. Before I do the recording, let me give you some tips first. So this kind of sound card is a little bit tricky and I believe as per experience, it needs patience to set it up. Uh, because if your background music is too loud, the audio output is not great. If the vocals or the volume of your vocals is too loud, so the condenser microphone that I have connected, if it's too loud, the audio output is not great as well. So make sure it's just enough do testing first before you, you do recording uh, so far in here if I'm going to use this uh, background music or instrument I had set my background music volume to less than 50% and the microphone here I had set this one to uh, so from zero so if you select a volume here to zero until you don't hear anything uh, I pressed the, the V plus three times only so one two three and then that's it okay let me uh, let me turn it up to zero so it's at zero right now so I'm just gonna press the V plus three times one two three and there you go so that's all set and another tip for you if you are going to be removing this one and turning and putting it back on there make sure to remove uh, this one from your ear or do not put this one uh, into your ear otherwise it will hurt your ears there, there is a weird noise that uh, or a feedback or whatever that noise is it hurts your ears so make sure whenever you remove this one and putting it back on this one is not uh, attached to your ear and even on here even if you want to change it let's say for example you're just recording for something else not for singing purposes and you want to change the ktv to original so you have to uh, press uh, that one right there do not put this one also onto your ear because it will hurt your ear it will have that weird noise again so so in other words before you start your recording make sure to set up that one the volume of, of your record music do not uh, touch this one anymore and make sure this one is already set to ktv so i i prefer to use ktv if you want to record uh, or record a song or make a song cover this is not uh, uh, advisable really to make a song cover uh, as I mentioned it's so tricky to to do a cover uh, however if you wanted to give it a try then this is how it to work or this is one of the option how to do a song cover or make or record a song okay so now that we're set I'm gonna turn on this phone here I will just be using the built-in camera on here okay there you go by the way once i'm finished recording here what i will do is when i edit uh, this entire video i'm going to be using the audio output from here to this uh, uh, video that i am uh, taking right now so while i'm doing uh, this one you can hear right away the audio output uh, from this uh, recorded video from this phone and by the way just uh, to give you a heads up the microphone is not so close to me so this is about uh, eight to nine inches away from me and another tip if it's so close to your uh, mouth the audio output is not great it's like a cracking sound almost so make sure your condenser microphone is not super close uh, to you anyway you do your testing first uh, before you do your real recording okay so let me uh, start now the recording from here okay record and now I'm going to play the song from here. They call me the girl who knows just what to say and do. Cause when it comes to you. Okay, let me pause it from there. And now what I will do is I'm gonna move a closer the microphone to my mouth just uh, so you know uh, what is the audio output okay so this time the microphone is about uh, 
maybe uh, three inches uh, to my mouth. So I did not uh, touch anything. So settings from here and there are the same. So I will uh, continue the song. It's another woman in love. Okay, so that's the sound if it's about uh, three uh, inches uh, closer to your mouth. And now let me show you if it's super close to your mouth. Okay, this time, this condenser microphone is about, uh, let's say, about uh, an inch and a half uh, to my mouth. Okay, let's continue uh, recording. Me again, with you I'm just another woman. Just another woman in love. And now, let's say, for example, you are just recording your vocals and let's say you want to use some of the uh, a voice changer on here. Of course, uh, you can uh, do that as well. And if in case you want to uh, have some background uh, while you are uh, uh, talking, then you can use uh, the same uh, setup. But the thing is, uh, this one here, it has no uh, dodge uh, option or feature that, uh, you know, when you talk, it lowers the volume of your background music. If there is, I do not know yet how to do that. So uh, what you will do is you just have to manually uh, control the volume from here. Okay, let's uh, give it a try. So again, I have selected right now the original. So original has no, no echo or no reverb. Okay, so I'm going to uh, play this as uh, background, this uh, same uh, music and then I'm gonna just control the background music manually. Okay, so something like that, and then I'm just gonna lower it from here, and as you talk, and then talk uh, as you want, and then if you want to, uh, let's say, want your background music uh, to get louder, then just turn it up manually. So something like that. There you go. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of videos, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.